hello welcome and welcome back to my channel everyone how do you pack your nigerian food ingredients for a broad journey well on the screen here i have achicha how do you pack it keep watching and then for your stock fish what do you do to make sure there is no insects left in there because if those insects are found in your um, already packed ingredients at border you'll be in trouble keep watching because i will share you tips on how i pack my without any insects and also the same thing with your smoke fish sometimes you see some insect in it how do you get rid of it before packing watch to the end how do you pack your crayfish for your broad abroad travel well keep watching and let's dive into it so let's start with the stockfish here i have two types of stockfish the one with that ear is called cold nigerians know the one called cold is the aroma takes over everywhere when it's cooked and then we have the one with ears known as a palm. <laughs> Let me know at the comment section the English name for those stockfish, everyone. So now for me to make sure there is no insect, what I usually do is to make charcoal fire and then put them like roasting it again. Now, if you don't have that, feel free to use your um, oven. Just put your oven on a medium heat and keep this to like you're heating it up for some minutes could be 30 minutes to ensure that there is no insects because sometimes this dry um fish you notice there in um, insect inside them so after that i go in to pack them inside a big gallon ziplock but this wasn't working so everyone i have to like empty some of it and divide it into two so that is what you see on the screen i have to pack it into two gallon. so first for the stockfish i always make sure that there is no insects by taking my time to heat them up again on fire then shake it to make sure there is no one falling off because that could hinder you from taking it at the border to the wherever your location may be over there so next is our almighty achicha that is dry coconut yam this is very healthy food so it's super fresh so this one don't need any heat enough you know, because of insect so i'll go ahead and just pack them but at the same time i have to be careful like what you see on my hand is a very um old one the one that's, that is already um bad so i have to make sure i remove that because that could equally um breeds insects if it takes time for you to get to your destination and that may also hinder you from taking it because you can be asked to keep it because it begins to breed instead so after packing it as usual i always make sure that all the airs inside my um ziplock or my gallon bag escapes and to do that I always light on the on, on flats open the mouth and then make sure the eggs a goes out escape exactly what you see me do on the screen doing this helps it because if you are, if you leave the air in there there's possibility that it's going to um sweat and then spoil your dry ingredients already so after making ensuring that all the air escape i quickly lock it i will do that to the next one until i pack this achicha 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 nearly good <laughs> everyone so achicha good fio fio in my last video i asked what is the english name for fio fio i don't know if i got that right answer okay i could just call it local beans or oil beans so i'll go into to pack this and i will still do the same thing making sure that all the ends is escape before tightening it so that's what i'm trying to do now put it flat and the way i always pack my food ingredients is so easy for you to put them inside your bus and equally um put your clothes in it i always make sure they are all flat not packing it to puff up like you know so that is that the next one is our corn flour now i'll make a video on how to make this corn flour on your own I made it into pap everywhere you know how to make pap and then dry the pap after drying up I take it to 
a local engine blend it into a powder man it is so cool so when you're making your pop at diaspora or abroad you know that you're actually taking calm not miss because some if you buy the one that is already made in the market sometimes they miss it with some other flour so here after packing this calm flour the next thing i do is just to also um open it to make sure the air escape everyone let me know in the comment section what you may think about this food pack for abroad joining everyone do you like it do you want more of it let me know in the comment section then to the fish i also dried it extra dry after um i bought it from the market i took my time to make my charcoal fire then dry it so it's well dry so it does not breathe um some insects or begin to spoil while it is still packed in your bag before you get to your destination so after packing it into the gallon i also make sure it is well locked so for my crayfish i blended it some like to pack it like that but this was blend super dry blend crayfish so i'll go ahead and add that to my gallon directly from i bought the fruits and then they blend it for me so i know what i have is actually upper flour because sometimes if you buy the blended one there's possibility that it is mixed with can flour or some other flour okay everyone keep watching we are not done packing this in our gallon and test once more on my journey subscribers everyone so oba is one of nigerian delicious and proteinous food i heard that that oba is actually more proteinous compared to beans um what do you think about that is it true let me know at the comment section everyone what you think about that so after packing my oba here is my obolo the obolo quickly um begin to cake up so um uh, obviously i'm not going to pack it like this so i'm going to use my hand to make sure i crush all those lumps until it blends and turn to flour and this is it and next i'll go in to pack it into our ziplock our our bar gallon bag everyone do you like obolo do you like obolo soup do you like it's okra do you like nigerian soup let me know at the comment section down below what you like what nigerian soup you like what nigerian food ingredient you like to take a block and this and a bowl let me know how you pack it so you see always make sure they are super flat and this is our na yaji this is a pepe sauce dry pepe sauce used for eating suya so many things and next is my 
poses that seed that is black pepper i'll pack that and keep it aside this can is used for so many recipes in nigeria and it's also good for cold and flu depending on how you use it i'll be using it and i've already used this in some of my videos like white soup video so you can always watch that so i'll set all of this aside and here is my pepper soup spice and then the seasonings those do not need any labyrinth so i'll go in and pack all of this together and that is that ready to be um the next thing is to use a solid tape or masking tape and do the labeling now, funny enough in nigeria we find it difficult to find um a newspaper like old newspaper which we used to fold so all i need to do right now is to use my masking tape to wrap it all around and that will be done off camera so in this video i just shared you how which you had to pack your food stores in your gallon bag all right thanks so much any subscribers for watching stay safe stay connected